Hi hey YouTube, this is TJ. So today I'm going to be looking at the TASG from Jumper, the transmitter which binds to just about any RC aircraft. So you get this protective case, carrying case, got a nice handle there. So it's pretty tough to protect it all when you're in transport with it. There's the actual controller. There's the actual neck strap you get. Easy jet colours. There's the actual controller itself. It's 10 channels. So 4 channels for the sticks. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Including all the switches. It takes a 2 cell battery. And uses a balance plug. To connect to it. You've got your if you can see it in there. I'll put a picture up here now to show you where the mini USB port is. It's been changed position wise. It was hidden within the controller so you had to take the controller apart but now you don't have to do that thankfully. So it's a nice little change they've done to it already. Be careful when you're putting the cover on because it does catch the balance plug lead sometimes. Uh, there you go. The main reason I wanted to get this and try it out is because it's going to save you from carrying a load of different controllers around and it will bind to my tiny whoop. So instead of having to use one of these horrible little controllers, which are not great fun to use, I can now use a more hobby grade style controller. This controller, like I said, it can bind to just about any receiver, all your popular receivers, as, as well as toy grade, so the E010, the JJRCH36, I've already bound it to that. If you want to find out how to do that, I can do a separate video. It will bind to the Futaba protocol for the XK251, which is the, let me look at the controller. the SFHSS controller As you can see the it is a smaller controller but it feels all right in the hands to your standard size controller I mean I don't mind the XK controller but if I was you know going out with loads of models I'd rather just take one controller it will bind to this Hubson 502e and you've got telemetry on this controller so you can still use the telemetry function. When you power up you'll see. Um, I've got two models at the moment programmed. I've used it with the JGRC H36 and I've got it bound to this SPC maker which has got an XM plus receiver. It's a 95GF from Gearbest. So I've still got to um, try that one out. So you can store on this particular um, firmware I've got now, Deviation, you can store 30 models, which is plenty really. You can also set up timers. It's got four timer functions on there. I've got this set up to actually start with the stick. So I think I've got it for um, two minutes, 30 seconds. I'll just focus that in. can see that and then when you move the stick the timer will start it's pretty handy and that will vibrate and you'll get a sound alert as well with that so it's got so many functions this controller that it's just going to save you so much money in the long run if you're going to go for say bind and fly models in the long run yeah you're going to save a ton of money and ready to fly models if you buy a lot of ready to fly models sometimes you can buy them without the controllers this is where this thing comes into play you've got the internal 2 megabyte of memory and yeah it, it does the job I'm still learning about beta fly and setting up mixes so with this I had to set up the switches to use them in beta fly for the 95G, the GF95 here so I did have to set that up to work with that. 
like I said, that's got an XM Plus, but it will bind to FR Sky receivers okay. And yeah, the, the fact I can use this controller with this now, it's a lot more, you know, it's a better flying experience, like I said. You've got more control over it. And for this weather we've got in the UK now, it's ideal to have one of these. I'm going to leave a link in the description from where I got this one from, which is Gearbest. I think it's currently around about £68 or around about that. Like I said, you've got to supply your own 2S battery. But yeah, the controller overall, I'm quite impressed with it. So here's how you do it. So you go into model setup, hit enter, and start again. So yeah, go into model menu, hit enter, model setup, hit enter. Then you can go to a location if you want. So if you hit enter again, you can scroll up and down. Choose an empty space or one you've started on enter again if you want to change the name just hit enter on that you'll come up with that keyboard just scroll across and call it what you want here say for instance I just delete it so to delete what's there keep hitting enter and you just go to J J so you hit enter twice RC and H go down to here, hit enter, 36, go down to done, hit enter again, so we've got the model name, you can go into um, this one for the icon, see we're a multi-copter, so my default is multi-copter anyway. Then the model type, make sure you've got it on multi-copter. You've got plane, heli. So go back to multi-copter, go down again. Make sure this is on 30 milliwatts, that's important, otherwise it won't work. With the E010 or the JJRCH36. Go down once more, and again. You can see that is the one you need, MJXQ. Once you've found that by scrolling, left and right you scroll so once you've found that hit enter and you've still got to choose the model so you've got to go through there's E010 hit enter again exit and you want to hit this down button here go across and if you hit enter you should say it's binding Think you have to plug it in first. So plug it in. You can see it's flashing. I'm gonna hit enter. There we are. Bound. So instead of having to use this controller, you can now use something better. Have a much better flight experience. So it's worth getting just for the fact you can use it on your toy grade ones as well as hobby grade. If you're interested in getting this, then I'll leave a link in the description. This one's from Gearbest. Just like to thank them for sending it for review. And there you have it. I'll catch you on the next video. This is TJ.